Lab, everyone. This is Terry with a new product announcement for the shop. I'm developing a new series of modules and it's going to be called Modutech. These modules will make your amplifier building much easier because I'm going to take circuitry and put them into these convenient modules so that you can actually build your amp in sections rather than having to point to point wire everything. Let me show you what this is all about. I think you're going to like it. All right, guys, let's go back in time a little bit. We'll talk about the 6K6 project and how things are configured and why I've decided to develop these boards. So the initial project, I used the police radios, okay? And the chassis already had a location for the filter cap, power transformer, rectifier diodes and then I added the required caps and resistors across the chassis to make that power supply work which was okay for that configuration but then I got the realistic tuners and there was no room topside for a standard filter cap so I had to move the filter caps to the bottom of the chassis and I installed a terminal strip and the caps were radio mount and they came off each side of that terminal strip which also worked however it ate up a lot of real estate so then I was building another one of these 6k6 amps in a realistic tuner and I got thinking man it'd be nice to put all this into one convenient location rather than burning up so much space for that power supply so that is where the idea for the Cub 1 board came. So all the caps, resistors, and diodes are now integrated on that board. And you can simply glue it into place and then wire up the rest of your amp. So the one that you see in front of you right now has one of the D-Lab Cub boards simply glued into place. Okay, my high voltage comes in here. And this is the exit that goes to the output transformer, my screen circuit, preamp, and a ground. So everything now is contained in this little board that's approximately an inch and a quarter by three inches. Okay, So it burns up much less real estate and it really looks good. So this is one method of mounting the board. Now if we swing over here, this is a new amp that's in progress same board but now it's mounted on the side of the chassis and the reason I had to do that is this one had this metal frame and part of this frame supports the bottom cover so I didn't have room to mount this one in the same configuration as this one but that just shows you how versatile this little board is mainly because it's so small you can fit it into tight spaces so this should really simplify amp building. So here is a simplified diagram of the D-Lab Cub 1 board and the functions that it provides. If you take a look below, you'll see a standard power supply circuit that you would use in, say, a practice guitar amp. So you got your main power transformer. It's got a high voltage winding and a filament winding. Your high voltage winding in this case is being rectified by a pair of diodes. Then it goes to the various caps and resistors that you select for the circuit that you're building. The Cub 1 integrates all the components that you see in this oval. Okay, So on my little board I have a pair of diodes that rectify the AC. It hits one of the filter caps. Then we go through a screen resistor. So this is your feed to your output tube. And then we go through the preamp resistor, and that feeds your preamplifier section. So it eliminates all these components from the chassis and puts it on one small convenient board that you can either mount on standoffs or simply glue to the chassis and wire it up. It's a big time saver. Right, here's a little close up of the Cub 1 circuit board that's fully populated. This one is close to a Fender Tweed configuration. So we have our input rectifier diodes, 1K resistor that feeds the screens, and then the 10K resistor that goes off to the preamp section. So for this design, I'm running a pair of 47 microfarad caps, and then there's a 22 microfarad cap 
for the preamp section. However, you are not limited to that combination, okay? These boards are universal. So you can select any value of cap and resistors that you want for the power supply that you're designing. So for example, if you said, well, hey, I want to have a 47, but I want my first cap to be a 68 microfarad, these caps drop right into place. These are about the 18 by 26 millimeter caps, okay? So what I try to do is make sure I use the same series caps so that they can glue down to the board. But if you don't want to mount them that way, you can mount these on standoffs. There's a couple of holes there, and these standoffs are not part of the traces. They are isolated, so you're not going to have any power supply issues by mounting them that way. Okay, well, There it is, guys, the new D-Lab Modutech system. It's in the works. I'm working with pad to pad right now on new designs for unique amplifiers and effects like tremolo, reverb, and distortion. They'll all be modulized, okay? So that's coming, but the Cub 1 is ready now. So if you want one of these things, contact me, tell me the cap and resistor configuration you need, and they'll be on the way.